In this video, I want to discuss the differences between arrays and anonymous functions. Uh, because we use both arrays, or we can use both arrays and anonymous functions when we're calculating derivatives and when we're calculating integrals. But the way that we use them is very different. So here we have this x equals 0 to 5 with a step size of 0 0.5. If I run that, I can double click on it here in my workspace and see that it's 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and so on. I can then in my script calculate some array, build some array. Let's say it is x, and we're going to do x squared minus 3. Now if I run my script by clicking run, and then I double click on my array, I see that I have all these different values here. The seventh value is going to be x squared minus 3 of the seventh x value. So if I look here, so it's going to be 3 squared minus 3. So that value I get is 6. My eighth value is going to be the eighth x value, so 3.5 squared minus 3, which gives me 9.25, and so on. So if I wanted to reference a specific value of my y array, I would say y array of, let's say, 5. And that will give me whatever is located here at the fifth value of y array. Now let's see how this is different than an anonymous function. So I'm going to create an anonymous function. I'm going to call it y function equals at. And I'm going to pick some variable, let's say p. And I'm going to have p squared minus 3. When I run this, I see here I have y function, and it's stored as a function, it's not an array. And if I come here to my command window, and if I were to type y function of 5, that means that this is taking 5 squared minus 3, which is 22. So this is plugging in 5 into y function. I think where some people make mistakes and errors is assuming that y function of 5 is the same as calculating y function at the fifth value of x, which those are not the same thing. Because the fifth value of x here is 2. If I wanted to calculate y function at the fifth value of x, I would have to type y function of x of 5. which gives me 1. So that means that's 2 squared minus 3. So when we have an anonymous function and we put something in parentheses, so y function of any value, let's say 6, that 6 is the input into the function. But if instead of a function, I have an array, and I type y array of 6, that 6 is not an input into this function. That 6 is an index of the array. So that 6 means it is the sixth index of y array. So I hope this helps clarify the differences between arrays and anonymous functions, because especially when we're calculating derivatives and integrals, we can end up messing them up and we end up with errors telling us that our index has to be a real positive integer. Um, that's the most common error that we get, or we end up with a logic error because we're calculating a function at the wrong value, where we're using the index, where we should be using the x value in that function. So be aware that these are two different things, and we can use both of them uh, for different applications. 